Okay, now let's uh, see what we need to do for an Elevon mix for a flying wing. It's pretty straightforward. We only need three channels. Channel one, of course, is going to be the throttle. We've already got that uh, set up. And the two interesting ones are channels two and three, which are going to be the left Elevon and the right Elevon. Basically, each of the Elevon is going to take 50% of its mix from the from the aileron uh, stick and from the elevator stick and we're going to see how we add those together to get uh, the proper amount. So let's uh, let's try the left elevon first. We're going to come down and we're basically going to put an aileron mix and we're going to try the aileron. We're going to push left and we see right away this is going in the wrong direction. So we're going to need to reverse this, not with the channel reverse, but what we're going to do is we're going to take care of that by making the weight negative. Now since we're adding the, uh, the aileron and the elevator, we're going to put each of those at a 50% value. So here we have a 50% we push left, it goes up. We push right, it goes down. And the sign of that 50% totally depends on your plane and how you've got the servos put in. It could be plus 50%, it could be minus 50%. You basically just try it and see what works for your plane. So now let's go and put the aileron on the right side, channel three. So let's jump over. There's aileron. So we're going to push left and the sign is correct. You see we pull to the right and the right uh, uh, elevon surface moves up, but it's moving up too much. So we want to bump that down to 50%. So now we push left, left surface is up, right surface is down. We push right, right surface is up, left surface is down. So that looks good. Now let's go and mix in the elevator on both sides. Let's do it on the left side first. So we press menu and we say insert. And we've got the elevator and we're going to pull the elevator back and we see we need to reverse the direction. So that means we need to put the weight down to minus 50%. So there we have minus 50% and we see down, we pull back, the surface moves up, we push forward, the surface moves down. Oh, and one more really important thing. We look at the multiplex parameter and we see that is set to add. So that's basically going to add those two things together. You can see here. Channel 2 is 50, minus 50% aileron plus minus 50% elevator. That's because the multiplex is add. That's why you've got the plus right there. Okay, so let's uh, do the same thing on channel 3. Menu, insert, and we're going to select elevator. And we need to see... It also needs to be reversed, so that's going to be minus 50% as well. So we bring it down. Minus 50%. We pull the stick back. Both surfaces move up. We push the stick forward. Both surfaces move down. That's good. And once again, we check to see the multiplex, and the multiplex is add. So we look at the mix, and channels 2 and 3 are pretty similar, both aileron elevator added together with the right sign. So if we push to the left now as a final check, left is up, right is down, 50%. If we pull back in that configuration, both surfaces move up, but the left is still higher. If we push forward, both surfaces move down, but the left is still higher. Likewise, we push to the right, right is up, left is down, 
we push forward, they both move down. We pull back, they both move up. So that's basically how you set up an Elevon. If you're if you're if your flying wing is a little bit old or janky or something, maybe you'll have to put a few more percent one side or the other, but uh, this will get you pretty close, and then from there it's just uh, some fine tuning.